gastric sleeve or sleeve gastrectomy, it generally now is applied to patients whose BMI is less than 55. If they are more than 60 BMI, this may not be the right operation. I'm a deputy head teacher at an infant school and I work with the youngest children in the school. Being the active, getting down on little chairs, in and out of the sand pit, the water tray, all those kinds of things, yes. I was really, really struggling. Yeah. Sometimes in a corporate environment you just feel that people don't take you seriously because you're the big person in the room and um, you kind of make light of situation. The sleeve gastrectomy now is giving the same weight loss as the gastric bypass. And similarly, it is also giving the same amount of benefits, especially diabetes, sleep apnea, asthma, arthritis. Um, it all started um, well, two years ago when uh, I was driving my bus and I had a real problem staying awake. It was obstructive sleep apnea where, because of my size, all the weight and all my chest was rolling back at nights when I laid on my back and was literally cutting off my airway. I had done most of the diets that they had tried and I'd lose two or three stone and then within a couple of months you plateau out, you lose confidence and then you end up putting even more on. A gastric sleeve or sleeve gastrectomy involves uh, removing three quarters of the stomach and uh, uh, the stomach is made into a narrow tube the sleeve gastrectomy advantage is there is no foreign body and there is no re rerouting of the bowel. Therefore, it will not have the same problems of the gastric band, say. It restricts the amount of the food one can take and that's all it will do. I actually went in to see Mr Minot. I booked my first ever appointment just after my sister Helen had come out of hospital. So he recognised me from when I was visiting her and said, I knew, I knew, I knew you'd come. And Claire smiled as well because she was there. And, and he did. He said, you, you, you've done the hardest bit. You've made, you've made the decision to have the operation and we'll see you through the rest of this and it, you'll be absolutely fine. He really just reassures you and you know you're in safe hands with Mr Minot. You lose about... 80% of your excess weight and many of the people go under the normal BMI. It's worked really well. In the first two weeks I lost two stone, um, which was incredible. Within the first six months I'd lost probably about eight stone and now I've just lost just over 11 stone and it's 13 months since my operation. So when I went in I was 28 stone 9 and now I am 15 stone 8 and that's just about a year ago that I had the operation. Since the operation, um, well obviously my appearance has changed a great deal. My neck size has gone down from a 22 to a 17. My waist size used to be 56 inches, it's now down to a 42 inch waist. Um, I've lost 16 stone in total. The lifestyle changes you have to think about are, number one, the dietary considerations. Good amount of protein and vegetables. You need to have the B vitamin supplementation. You need the vitamin D supplementation. Now it's more just I'm eating what I want. I cook more as well, which is more enjoyable for me. Number two, exercise. The day you have the surgery, you have to start doing exercises. I'm more active. I'm more out with my friends. I've, I really enjoy going to the gym now. I never used to. It used to be more of a slog. Like any surgery, you need to think about the complications which can happen after the surgery. You can have a leak because you have a long staple line and uh, where the stomach is cut, you can leak. And this could be easily corrected if it is attended to in the first 24 to 48 hours. My leak rate is about one in 300 or 700 cases. It's changed my life honestly has when it comes to work, my, my social life, my personal life. Um, it's, it's made me more confident, which is huge. Life changing, there's no other way of, of describing it for the best. It, re it really is. Everything, everything's great. And now it's, it's a great feeling and, and I'm just the person that I've always wanted to be.